The 2022 edition of the Pete Richardson Classic means one thing. Football is back on the bluffs, and it's duly time. What's up, HBCU Game Day family? It's your favorite cousin from Mississippi, D. James, and I'm back. Back in Baton Rouge, checking out the Jaguars from Southern as they take on the Lions from Florida Memorial. A lot of excitement can be heard once you mention Southern Jaguar football. Some people want to know, is the Dooley effect really going to be effective? Also before kickoff, the Jaguar Nation took a moment to celebrate the life of former cheerleader Arlana Miller. Two new scholarship funds were also created in her honor. Those scholarships will also be intended for future Jaguar cheerleaders. The Southern University football icon himself, Coach Pete Richardson, was also in attendance at the game today. Florida Memorial comes in with a record of 1-0 as Southern University puts on the powder blue trying to get the first win of the season. Jaguars elect to receive. They get the ball and we get to see Bashawn McCray finally come out as the starting quarterback. Southern University comes out using the ground game, but FMU's Joshua Mims steps up, makes a nice tackle. After that, Southern stepped on the gas. Bashawn McCray extends the play with his legs, finds Jared Sims. He does the rest, 34 yards up the sideline. Southern gets his first touchdown. Williams comes out with a nice swing pass, but the Jaguars are right there to blow up the play before the Lions can execute. After a turnover on downs, it wasn't long until the Jaguars struck again. McCray shows off his speed, goes 65 yards to the house. Southern Jaguars 14, Florida Memorial 0. Now this play was a wild one. Southern's Jordan Lewis blows up a potential screen and then he goes and picks up the fumble. Somehow through the rummage, he ends up taking the fumble into the end zone and Southern has scored yet again, but this time defensively. The Jaguars defensive line applied pressure all game. This time Taj Brown comes up with the sack. McCray also shows Jaguar Nation that he can throw the ball. Southern University running back freshman Kendrick Rhymes shows that he's very explosive. So explosive they have to face mask him. That's a penalty. But everybody knows that a face mask cannot stop a great running back. So Kendrick Rhymes gets another chance and this time he takes it on in for another Jaguar touchdown. and stepped up big for the Pete Richardson Classic in week one. If one play could summarize how Florida Memorial's day went, it would be this one. Things just didn't connect. Ed McGee should be nominated as player of the game, or at least get play of the game, as he makes an amazing one-handed catch right here on the sideline and stays in bounds. Jared Sims gets his second rushing touchdown of the day. Southern University goes up 49-0 to in the first half.
Shout out to the ROTC unit over at Southern University. But as I was catching them doing their push-ups, I missed a 50-yard interception return. Southern went up 56 to nothing at halftime. And halftime was definitely a show. Florida Memorial comes out and they play Love's Train by Confunction. The human jukebox came out and put on a show nothing less than expected. They also played good love. The Jaguars found their starting quarterback and also went on to put up 30 more points in the second half. Your final, Southern University 86, Florida Memorial 0. Before I left, I got a chance to talk with Coach Dooley, and this is what he said at halftime. Well, you know, uh, coming out as the first year, this is my first time getting a chance to lead the Jaguars out. Uh, it's not over with. We play 60 minutes of football. Uh, I'll be honest with you, uh, because I know you guys, uh, I normally don't do interviews right now, but I don't mind doing it right now. But our team, we still got some work to do. We're trying to compete against ourselves, so we know what we need to do. But uh, they focus and they understand the assignment. 